Hey guys, so for those of you that don't know, uh, over the last year I've been in and out of lockdown, we've been taking our sessions either both in club for the time that we've been able to, or uh, and online, or purely online. Obviously at the moment in lockdown we are purely online. You can see the setup there that we've created to stream the sessions live, two-way interactive via Facebook Live and via Zoom. A full timetable, 32 sessions a week, as many sessions as we've always done. No drop-in service, if anything, a leveling up a bit. And sometimes we get people say, I'm not getting on with the online sessions, or it's not the same online. And they're right. Of course it's not. It's not the same online. I didn't get into this business to do sessions just online. I think they're a great addition to being in person. And at the moment, they're definitely the next best thing. But I'm really looking forward to five weeks' time when we're back in the club, when we're doing it face-to-face -face as well as online. It's not the same online. If it was the same online, there would be no need to pay rent on a building like this, to have to decorate it and to equip it. There'd be no need for, for conventional gyms. There'd be no need for lots of things that, that people really benefit from having. We would all just do it online. But the key is it's that next best thing. There's a difference between the theoretically optimal version of something we might want to do and nothing. There's something in between those things. And it's when we get all black and white that often our results suffer. So yeah, it'd be nice if we were back in the club at the moment, but it's not on the cards. So if our choice is to do online sessions and to continue to make good food choices and, and make a, whatever forward progress we can, or to stop completely, to gain weight, to lose fitness, to drop mood, to get reduced health, lower energy levels, to get more cranky, more pissed off, more irritable, then I know which of those options I'd rather choose. There's always the next best thing. When we can't eat quite as well as we'd like for whatever reason, someone else is feeding us, whatever we've got in, whatever it may be, there is something in between that and eating like an absolute maniac. When we go out of a Friday evening and think, oh, I, I, I'll write it off and start again on Monday. There's something in between that and that, that perfect version. So the next best thing is always worth doing. It's not the same online. I get it. We've got a lot of people going to be coming out of this lockdown in better shape than they went into it physically and mentally. If you don't think that's going to be the case with you, then just comment on this or send me a message and we'll see what we can do. Don't wait till we're back in person. If you wait till April the 12th, the spaces will have gone here. I know that from experience. We sold out 60 plus consecutive months before lockdown. We were straight back to where we needed to be last summer when we were back in person. It'll happen again before April the 12th. If you leave your decision till April the 12th, you'll either have to wait a bit longer still, or you'll end up somewhere where they're desperate for members. And it's worth thinking why places might be desperate for members.